To start poly painting on my model, the first thing I'm going to do is choose a base color and a base material to work with. So in the color picker, I'll choose the color I want to work with, and then, of course, the material. Once you've chosen those two, go up to color, and then down to fill object. This will fill this object with both the material and color that I've chosen. Make sure that you have MRGB turned on before you do that. Now I can start painting on my model. But before I do, take notice of the Z Add button. Currently I have this turned off. The reason I have this off is because I don't want to sculpt on my model as I paint. You can sculpt and paint at the same time, but in this instance I don't want to do that, so I'll make sure Z Add is turned off. I do have MRGB turned on. and I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and turn on just RGB. Because in this case I don't want to paint with material and I don't want to sculpt on the model. I just want to add color information. So now let's get started. I'll change my stroke to something like the spray stroke, change my alpha, and then adjust my color a bit. Then I'll just simply paint on the model. Once you're done painting and you want to convert this poly paint to a texture, all you need to do is go over into your tool palette. You notice you have a texture pull down. Open that up, and then you notice that there's a button here that says color to texture. If you click on that, it'll convert this poly paint color over to a texture, which you can see over here on the left hand side. Now that this has been converted to a texture, we can't do any additional editing at this point by painting on the model. To get back to poly paint, where we can continue painting, simply come back over to the texture pull down, and this time click texture to color. Now we can continue painting on our model. When we're done painting and we want to export this, again, we'll click Color to Texture. Notice the texture is loaded over here on the left hand side. And then in our tool palette, we can click Export. When we do that, not only will we get the OBJ and the model itself, but we'll also get the texture associated with it.